I mean, we've, we've proven that we have really good open field tacklers in space, especially to the field side when you put Von Bell and Darren Lee out in the field. They're great athletes, great open field tacklers. Uh, so what a lot of teams are trying to do is they're trying to spread us out. They're trying to get Darren out in the passing concepts, trying to get Von out in the passing concepts, and running it downhill and getting us in, in some five-man box, some six-man boxes, and trying to beat us in the numbers game. Um, so that's definitely what they're trying to do. Just from the standpoint of the way we run our defense, I think that's definitely what they're trying to attack. Did that just start with Western Michigan, or did you see it earlier? I think Pam? it really did start with Western yeah. Michigan. Yeah, so everybody's going to copy really, it, right? I yeah, mean, a exactly. Bit, yeah. I think when, when you look at what teams are going to try to do, they always mimic what we've had issues with. Yeah. Um, and I think we've definitely, Coach Fick and Coach Ash have done a great job making some adjustments on uh, different fronts and different uh, kinds of defenses. That's, that's really helping a lot getting an extra guy in the box, getting uh, extra fits and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that is what they've been attacking, and we'll, we'll definitely continue to see that. For you personally, what does it do for you to have been in there when the bullets are really flying the other the other day? I mean, you know, you're playing for Raekwon's out and yep. stuff, and the game's on the line and stuff. What does that do for a player to be in there, survive it, if you understand what I'm saying? Yep. I mean, what, what does it do for you personally? It's just a blessing. It's uh, uh, proud to have that opportunity, um, kid that, you know, just worked hard, waited for my opportunity to come, and he came and uh, just capitalized on it. A lot fell on the mics, um, just like Ray, when Raekwon was in. Yeah. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun being out there with, you know, Joshua and Darren, uh, communicating with them in, in a time that really mattered. Um, so it was, it was a really good time, really and, fun. And what does it do for the defense as a whole to face that moment of truth <laughs> and survive? You understand what I'm saying? What, 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 what will be different about y'all from this point forward? I think it's always good. It's always good to experience adversity. Um, we, everybody looks back at the 2002 national championship team. If you look back at our team last year, we faced a lot of adversity. Um, and when you continue to face that adversity a lot, we, we get tougher, we callous. We, yeah. we experience some things that, that when, when things don't go the way we necessarily want it to go, uh, we know how to respond. We know how to, how to bounce back and go through great things. Um, so I think that that adversity definitely helps a lot. Um, so that was good. This might be a little controversial, sorry to put you on the spot, but what do the players think of the black uniforms? <laughs> black uniforms? We haven't talked about it much. Actually. You haven't talked about it much? No, we haven't. Well, the whole Buckeye Nation is going crazy no, about we, the black uniforms. We, I mean, it's been, I don't even know. We, we play Maryland this week, I don't even know who we play next. Um, so we, that's kind of how it goes. Um, so we focus week by week, haven't really talked about it. I know guys will be really excited because they're pretty, apparently they're pretty cool jerseys, so uh, it should be pretty fun. Um, but we haven't really talked much about they it. They haven't, have they shown?